This is the Honest Fit Life. But before we get into all that, I wanted to give you full disclosure that we are not fitness trainers, doctors, or healthcare professionals. We are just everyday regular people that are sharing what has worked for us and what has worked for us may not work for you. This is not meant to be a guide for weight loss or fitness training, just our experiences. So before beginning any weight loss program or fitness training, consult your doctor or healthcare provider. All right, everybody. I am David. I'm glad you're joining us. And joining me today is my wife, Mandy. Hello. And our son, Gabe. Hey, everyone. All right. So on this episode, we're going to talk about a couple different things. Um, how often should you work out if you're trying to be in shape? And should you be doing cardio? So that's our general topic. Um, I know there's a lot of mixed feelings on both. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to kind of dive into some of that and see if we can't shed some light on some basic questions with both of those topics. So I'm going to open it up to just general discussion. So how often should you should you be working out or going to the gym? Gabe? Um, basically, like I guess at first if you're starting out, um, just take it minimal. You know, don't be going super hard at the gym and going like every day, you know. Because you're definitely going to, like, be really sore, like, especially the first time you go to the gym, you know. And if it's going to really affect your workout if you're going to the next day. So just let your body rest. Maybe just go two or three times a week or whatever, you know. Just keep it minimal. Um, And especially if you have jobs or whatever, if you have a busy life, just Mm -hmm. try to fit in a workout if you can, you know. Um, And just... Yeah, two, three times uh, at the beginning. Now, if you're going, you know, for a while now, I would, you know, increase in maybe another day, you know, and then maybe go more intense um, at the gym. So you're getting more, uh, you're just working the muscle more, you know, you're getting out of that comfortable routine, you know, change it up. um, And then kind of just go from there, I guess, if you're like really advanced and... (laughs) Well, that's, I mean, that would be, a you know, yeah, that's, that's yeah. when yeah. you're getting so. into like a hardcore, you know, weight training program, then, you know, or if you're in Hollywood and you have trainers that are getting ready for your new movie or whatever, I know there were regiments are like every day, basically. Yeah. So, you know, and I guess uh, to a simple way to, to look at that question, how often should you work out? What are your goals? So okay. I guess, I guess it, you need to define what your goal is first to answer that question so if your goal is just to lose weight i would say even if your goal is just to lose weight i would go like three days a week if you try to throw yourself in the gym and go about five days a week that's i personally feel it's too much right and and i do too um i think we've we've disclosed that we work out three days a week that's our general on average program we work out monday yeah. wednesday and friday on average i would say that's the average just three days a week right and i will say you know your age and what you're physically starting with will dictate your schedule a little more so i mean if you are really out of shape or really overweight um i would say going to the gym once or twice a week might be a better thing I mean, it's it's going to be hard on your body in the beginning. So, for me, that's where I think you know going into it with, All right? You know, I mean, that's like also baby steps. Going it's into also, it with baby steps. you know, it's also if you're if you're just starting out, you know, you have a lot of weight to lose. You're way out of shape. When you do hit the gym, I know this is like a whole side note. Don't hit it super hard. Go to the gym. Be there for like half an hour. Do some walking. Do some weights. You know, kind of get yourself familiar with this, with the this stuff because it's so discouraging when you come home. And you're so sore right. the next day. You can't walk. Your arms are hurting you like crazy. The last thing you want to do is go to the gym five days a week. Mm-hmm. You want to be able to have recovery, mm-hmm. but you want to have the consistency of going to the gym. Right. Right. No, that makes total sense. Um, you know, and we've all been there when we started off. I mean, you are sore every time you work out. You know, if you, if you haven't been using the muscles that much, the first times, a couple times you do. Yeah. yeah. They, they're screaming. Yeah. They are unhappy and sore and, you know, and just you, you pace yourself and take time with it. Um, yeah. So I would definitely say, you know, in the, in the early stages to, you know, kind of go into it, tippy toe, baby steps and a couple days a week. Right. And as you're progressing, then 
add some days here and there, or then you can start splitting up what you're doing at the gym over different days. Right. I mean, like we have, you know, chest and back day, we have leg day, and we have shoulders and arm day. And that's mm. kind of our regimen. Um, I feel in the beginning, it's okay to do a total body workout. You know, where you're just kind of hitting a little bit of everything when you go. Yeah. I did that for quite a while. Mm-hmm. I wasn't, I didn't split up days for at least a couple of years. Right. And I think it can be an effective way to do it. You know, so if mm-hmm. you're, you know, if you're trying to drop some weight, get yourself in a little better shape. Yeah. A couple of days a week, you know, and just focus on this kind of an overall workout. Um, so goals at the gym. I guess we kind of just talked about that. Um, well, basically, I don't know. My thought on it is to a very simple thing is do you want to lose weight or do you want to gain weight? Like, you know, do you want to gain muscle or do you want to, like, just start losing weight, basically? Because those are two different things, and you have to do two different things, basically. Mm-hmm. You know, if you want to lose weight, what Dave was talking about, total body workouts, those completely help because you're working your whole body and you're burning more with that. Where You're working your legs and upper body, so your cardiovascular system is working a lot harder, so you're losing weight. You're losing those calories mm-hmm. and, you know, those th- fat. Um, but if you want to gain weight, it's kind of a totally different story. You have to be eating more, you know, like calorie surplus, either 500 or to how many more calories you need to be eating right. in order to gain weight. Um, and you have to be working, you know, compound movements, you know, just squat, deadlift, bench press, overhead yeah. press, just, you know, and heavy or weights basically to gain that strength and muscle mass. Mm-hmm. Well, but progressive then, overload. Yeah. And then also just with that, like, um, also doing just um, hypertrophy work and, you know, just kind of like ripping and tearing the muscle Mm -hmm. to grow it. But it's just two different stories, you know, just gaining or losing. Um, Yeah. And I would say that the number of times you should be going to the gym are based on (laughs) what those goals would be. Because I know that if you're actually trying to bulk up and trying to put on muscle, it is going to take more than one or two times a week. For me, oh, for, sure. for me, if you're if you're in a weightlifting program, one or two times a week is maintenance. That you're just going to maintain where you are. You know, it's just kind of keeping and keeping it polished. But if you want to grow, then you know, even three times a week, um, your results can be a little slower. You know, you're not going to see as, uh, things as fast, only being able to go three times a week. I mean, I know a lot of people, the average workout program is four days a week, four, yeah. to, four to five. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's kind of this uh, two on, one off kind of system where they'll go to the gym two days in a row, take a day off, you know, rest day. Yeah. And, and then, then you're also splitting up your workouts even more. Like, you'll have a glute-focused workout. You'll have a hamstring quad-focused workout. You'll have, like, triceps and bicep workout. Like, you really start – when you start working out five, even six days a week, I've known people work out five and six. Mm-hmm. If they're doing bodybuilder competitions, you know, all that kind of stuff, Yeah, you're splitting it's, it up, like, yeah. immensely of what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And then you're so doing legs, like, two, three days a week. Yeah, it's like a polishing work. Like, especially if you're doing bodybuilding competitions, it's like you got to work on your mm-hmm. weak points, basically. Mm-hmm. But – that's a completely different story. That's like it's too, a goal. But yeah. Right. No, I totally agree. Um, average amount of time at the gym and what is excessive? And um, this, this is an yeah. opinion-based <laughs> yes. question. Everybody has a different opinion on this. Um, I don't know if there's a necessarily right or wrong answer. It's I, just kind of based on I, your opinion. I would say if you're just starting out, say you're a gung-ho person, you're all in, you're all nothing, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to start losing weight, I'm going to go to the gym five days a week. I would say within about a month you're going to burn out. Right. It's too much. Mm-hmm. You're sore every day, you're sore every weekend. Like it, it, There has to be a balance with it. If you start out, like for us, I could probably go to the gym five days a week now, but mm-hmm. I've been working out for almost four years. Right. But it's like if you're just starting out, I would burn out. It's, right. it's too much. So how much? That's excessive. So let's talk about how much time should you spend at the gym, and what would be oh. excessive with that? I I would That's probably say yeah. if you want to like get in and like just do like some type of like hit type of workout, 
eh, 30 minutes, you know, just hit every machine, like hit the machines you need basically and get out. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're new, I would say an hour, an hour and a half. So you can go around, look around, get comfortable with the gym and just get comfortable with it. Right. You know, know what you want to do, what me machines you like and things like that. Um, but honestly, an hour and an hour and a half, it's fine. Right. For a lot of people, that is a good time. Now, if you want to, like, be there forever, then, I mean, two, two and a half hours. But it does get kind of, like, exhausting. You're, like, there for a while. So right. I would just use your time wisely when you're there. Make sure you're really working your muscle on each exercise, you know? Don't do 20-something or 15, 10 exercises or whatever. But I mean, even 10 is, I guess, fine. But just don't, like, just kill yourself <laughs> right. when you're there. Yeah, I mean, you're crawling out of the gym. <laughs> yeah. Right, and I feel there's a point that you're just doing too much at the gym. Your body is not going to recover enough. Yeah. You know... I mean, there's just, you're, you're just, you're wearing it down. It's fatigued, you know, so is it being effective at that point? Yeah, you need your, you need your body to recover. Right. That's also part of building muscle. Right. And losing weight. It's like, you need to build recover. I mean, that also has to do with nutrition, hydration. Mm -hmm. But if you're in the gym, like, constantly, day in and day out, and you're there for two, three hours, it's too much. Right. So I feel that, for me, that's excessive. Or even there's people that work out morning and evening. Yeah. How many days a week? It's like. It's it's too much. Your body doesn't have a chance to rebuild. No, it's, yeah, and over time, over an excess, you know, 10, 20 years, your joints, it, it, it things will start suffering. Right. Um, so, Gabe, you mentioned HIT. Do you want to explain what that is? Like a HIT, a hit workout? Yeah. Um, I forgot what it stands for. Um, high intensity training. Is it high? Like, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's something. <laughs> I, um... It's just, like, a lot of more, like, cardio type of work, you know? Yeah, so it's um, cardio-based. Yeah, and you're just going really intense, basically. Um, I'm trying to search up, actually, what <laughs> it actually is real quick. But um, high-intensity interval training. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Basically, it, like, takes your cardio workout to another level. And it you really work in this like you're dripping sweat, you're doing a lot of running or climbing, rowing, mm -hmm. jump roping, which mm -hmm. burns a lot of calories. Um, you just yeah, that's basically kind of what it is, and it's just really high intensity. Right, you and know? you can do that with weights too, though, where you you're superset. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You can just do yeah. kind of it's lighter thing. weight usually, and you're just like. Really, just going. No you break. Know? Just right. push yourself. Push so, yourself. Pull so ups. So, what is push a superset? Huh? So what is a superset? What is a superset? It's where you're doing two exercises back, back to back. back. Yes. Two different exercises. Basically, back -back. so basically, I know what it is. I was just <laughs> like, okay, let's <laughs> explain doing, that for a second. <laughs> if you're doing like a, let's say some dumbbell curls and then dumbbell like press or whatever, mm. you're basically curling, dropping the weights, and then going into a dumbbell press, and then you're taking a break for a minute, basically. Yes. And then you do it again. Yeah. yeah. Take a break, do it again. So yeah. So you're you're pushing your body really hard for a short period of time. Yeah. Um, getting the heart rate way up, mm -hmm. and that is a very effective way of doing it. Same thing. Uh, cardio, the hit hit cardio is probably, in my opinion, the best if you're gonna do it. I mean, you could be on a bike for 30 minutes, sure. You know, low resistance, you're just pedaling away, you're off on your imaginary journey at the gym, and, yeah, you know, and you can get in, you know, a couple of miles, four or five miles or whatever, you know, and, yeah, you're getting your heart rate up a little bit, but high intensity, you're pushing. Mm -hmm. So, like, say you're on the you're on the bike, and set the resistance up as high as you can manage, and go for 30 seconds. Yeah. Like, just pedal away. It's going to be murder for that 30 seconds. I don't even know if I could do this. Yeah, and then you, and then you basically... Take the resistance off and just kind of, you know, take a rest for about a minute as you're just kind of down pedaling. And then you start that again. And it's just kind of this that cycle. That's why it's interval training, where you're doing intervals of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like 30 minutes per second. It's like, you know, you do, you can do like the ropes or whatever, mm -hmm. like um, for 30 seconds. And then do like pull-ups. I mean, it's for like 30 seconds. Main, it's probably mainly on the time instead of the reps of it. 
you know? Right. So you're doing jump rope for 30 seconds, and then you're doing push-ups for 30 seconds, and then you're doing 30 seconds of pull-ups, and then you're, it's like a, um, uh, you're doing like a routine kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you're hitting like the same things, but over and right. over and over again until you're just like dead. You're right. lying on the floor. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you were to picture it like an EKG monitor, like a heart monitor, it's kind of <laughs> yeah. like that where you got this flat line and then it, you spike up when you're pushing real hard for just a short period, drops back down, mm-hmm. you know, and up and down. It's kind of well, yeah. kind of in that rhythm. You're not going forever to you're letting your body rest for either like a minute or like 30 seconds right. and then you're going back into it again. Well, imagine so. just imagine like running as fast as you can in a sprint. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You basically, can't do that forever, yeah. so it's, that's why it's called a sprint. It's short term. Yeah. And that's basically what you're doing is you're pushing yourself as hard as you can, getting your heart rate up as much as you can in a very short period of time and then coming down off of it, giving yourself a chance to catch your breath and get a little bit of rest and then you do it again. And that way you're kind of keeping that heart rate elevated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um yeah, so that was definitely the other thing we were going to talk about is cardio. Yeah. <laughs> Should you be doing cardio? Um, I, it, For me, I know I know the answer is yes. You should. <laughs> it's a very controversial <laughs> yeah. topic. I don't – I'm not a f- – I hate cardio. I mean, I'll be honest. I do not <laughs> like it. I get so <laughs> bored with it. Um, You know, it's always the end of the workout routine. Um, You know, and it's like, uh, okay, I'm going to force myself to do five minutes cardio. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I do the hit cycles with it. Sometimes I'm just lower resistance and I'm just pedaling to say I'm doing cardio. Right. Um, I know there's benefits to cardio. I mean, whether you, whether it's weight loss or um, weight training. There's massive benefits to cardio. It's incredibly amazing for your cardiovascular system. Endurance, all kinds of positive things. Cardio, for me, it's gotten... I think it got out of hand for a while. It's kind of in this pendulum swing right now. Some, you know, I know for women especially, if you want to lose weight, it was always cardio, always, mm-hmm. and that's it. You see women at the gym on the treadmills for like an hour. People go to the gym, that's all they do is cardio. Mm-hmm. And then it's like months later, and they're like, why am I not losing enough weight? It's like you can lose weight doing cardio. You actually lose more weight lifting Mm -hmm. doing weights yeah weight training it's actually sustains your metabolism your weight loss longer cardio is instant weights are prolonged as far as weight loss right your body continues to burn calories after you after you're lifting weights cardio it's more instant but you shouldn't just be doing cardio right Mm-hmm. But you shouldn't, you know, it's it's having that balance. Now, f- like for me, I only do maybe five to ten minutes of cardio mm-hmm. every workout. And I'm at the gym for an hour, hour and a half. Right. Only about five minutes of that is dedicated to cardio. Right. And I know for us it should be more. Yeah. I mean, like I said, 15 minutes. Right. I feel is a good time frame. Yeah. Um, yeah, but then there's some people, there's a lot of people that are weight trainers out there or even um, tr- trainers whatever whatever have you they don't do any cardio Mm -hmm. there's a lot of people out there that preach don't do cardio okay why is that i literally i read a while ago like if you like for women if you want to build your glutes don't do cardio like (laughs) running (laughs) running they're like running will literally burn your butt off it'll burn your ass off okay so it's i read that so what i took it as If I do cardio, I'm not going to grow my glutes. Mm -hmm. And a lot, there's some people that teach that. You don't do cardio. I follow several people on Instagram that are professional weight weight trainers. Right. And they don't do cardio. So then it kind of puts this precedence, like, maybe I shouldn't be doing cardio. Maybe if I want to look like them, if I want to build muscle like them, I shouldn't be doing cardio. Mm -hmm. When that's, in fact, not really true. So for me... I know the benefit of cardio is building endurance, mm-hmm. which will aid if you're doing weightlifting or weight, yes. tra- weight training. Having that endurance, being able to get the heart rate up, condition your heart and your, you know, yeah, circular vascular system to, you know, function at its yes. best. That's helped will me out a help. ton. Yeah. Are you doing some research there, Gabe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's been on his phone. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, it's helped me out a ton. I mean, when I first started working out, I couldn't even run two blocks mm-hmm. nonstop. I mean, you also have asthma. 
So. I had asthma, but it's like at the same time, I, my lungs were so weak. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if you're working out, if I'm doing a high intensity, if I'm doing weights and I'm doing a high intensity, especially leg day, leg day really is exhausting. Mm-hmm. If you don't have that endurance, it's going to be even harder. So cardio can help you build that endurance. Right. So Gabe, what are your thoughts on all this? So um, I'm looking at stuff here, but my initial thoughts on cardio is you 100% should be doing it. Where my thought goes, you should be doing it literally every day. And because, well, here, well, I already knew this, but, it, like, it improves your cat of, uh, cardiovascular, like, health, basically, mm-hmm. and reduces your health risk, basically, like your heart, you know, right. like heart attacks. It can reduce that because it literally strengthens the heart because mm-hmm. the heart is a muscle yeah. and should be worked. And it can just... It um, raises good um, HDL, which is high uh, density uh, lipoproteins or whatever, mm-hmm. and lower and it lowers LDL, which is um, basically low density uh, lipoproteins, basically, and your cholesterol levels in the blood. Um, but yeah, just three four times each week for just thirty minutes, right in the morning. Whatever, try to fit it in, and also it's f- extremely easy. You n- literally need zero equipment to do cardio. Mm-hmm. Just go outside yeah. and go for a walk. Yeah, like just even that minimal of cardio. Go mm-hmm. for a walk go outside, get some fresh air. Like even with that, going for walks, it like l- literally um, can like help help your help your mood. Whatever for mm-hmm. that day, if you're go- if you're feeling really down, go outside, go for a walk, and it like literally improves it, and it like regulates your weight you know um and it can like reduce um like it can strengthen your immune system um yeah boost your mood basically with here um patients walked on a treadmill during intervals for 30 minutes session after 10 days they were asked to report any changes in their moods and then they all said they felt better basically and I guess here reduces your risk to falls because older people, whatever, I guess can like improve like your just motor systems, I guess. Yeah. Um, and yeah, here's, it's safe for like, literally everyone, even <laughs> kids, you know, yeah. like kids go running, dude. Like right. it's so easy, affordable, accessible. You 100% should be doing it. And it just is good. Like there's so many studies on this that just show, like how good it is, mm-hmm. yeah, and it h- even helps you with, um, even in your workouts. Like you can last longer in your workouts. Yeah, and the you, endurance. You feel better. Yes, mm-hmm. you know. So it's just it's so dude, and even um, it regulates your your blood pressure and lowers your blood blood pressure. Yeah, which, yeah, you yeah, have. That's so my <laughs> issue. Yeah, yeah. So like it's it's so good, and you one hundred percent should be doing it every day. That's that's my thought on it. I mean, I do agree. And like I said, it's for me (laughs) where my problem is, is I get bored with it. And, you know, like weight training and stuff, I mean, you're pushing and it's different stuff. It's not the same thing for an extended period of time. Mm -hmm. You know, for me, cardio kind of is. And I get bored with it fairly quick. See, that's for you, though. For Yeah, that's just yeah. my issue. You gotta do it. To yeah, if you hate, absolutely hate, hate, hate cardio, like, you don't want to do it. So, if you end up doing just cardio, you're not gonna end up getting in shape. So, it's like... You'll be overall healthier. You'll be overall healthier, but it's like, try to find something you enjoy. So, if you hate cardio, I mean, it's like, like, David and I, we do five, five to 15 minutes of cardio. Mm-hmm. That's totally fine. You know, you switch up your, your, you know, your strength training workouts. There's, but I also think you shouldn't be just on the treadmill for an hour. Those people I see at the gym that only I see them week after week, they're on the treadmills. They're on the ellipticals and that's all they're doing. I never, never see them doing weights. Right. I mean, I guess, you know, if you're just getting into it, it's kind of scary when you look at all this equipment and, you know, obviously a treadmill is pretty straightforward. You get on it and you start walking or running. Yeah, Yeah. you're running. You know, there's there's not a whole lot of learning curve to it. Yeah. You know, just don't fall down. Um, Bicycle, obviously self-explanatory. I mean, most of the, most of the cardio equipment is very self-explanatory. Yeah. Where some of the weight stuff and some of the machines, yeah, it's It's, intimidating and it's a little scary. And it's like for, 
I keep pressing, I'm, I'm the only woman here. But it's like for women forever, it was cardio, 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 cardio. It was only cardio. The weights were always for the men. Mm-hmm. Like Gold's Gym, 24, you always go there. And it's like, I went to the gym 20 years ago. There's nothing but men there. Mm-hmm. You know, I went to a gym um, a long time ago, Bally's. I don't know if they're around still. They had a women's only section. Because it's like the gym is mostly lifting weights and the grunting and doing that, you know, doing the squats, doing the bench press. It was men. It was so men dominated. And women were left to feel like they only had the treadmill. Yeah, but over the, I mean, I would the say over the last 10 years, that has yeah, changed. The last decade, that has really it's changed. It's massively it changing. Is, you know, it is for everybody. Yes. You know, you know, young, old, you know, men, women, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. I think that, you know, the, everything at the gym is for everybody. Yes. I'm just saying it's just still, it's still being ingrained into women still even today. A lot of women just feel it's still cardio. It's because it was so ingrained in our heads forever, for decades. Right. That it's cardio. The women don't do weights. Women don't have, women don't bulk up. Women don't have muscle. And it's like, that's changing. Well, I mean, I would say it's a it's misconception like a huge, that if, you, yeah. you know, if you, you know, for a woman, if you lift weights, you're going to be bulky and look like a man. That's not necessarily true. No, it's not. You know, I mean, it takes a lot. There's a point. It, <laughs> yeah, there is a point, but it takes a lot. So it's not like you're accidentally going to start looking like a man. Yes. You know, because you pick <laughs> yeah, up your and women, you know? women fear it. You yeah. know, men fear it for their wives or their girlfriends. Like, you know, hey, what do you, you know, there's even women that have gotten hackled at gyms. Like, you think you'd be she lifting that much? Right. You know, there's these strong women that are squatting like two, 300 pounds, and they're like, I don't think you should be doing that. That might be bad for you. And the girl's like, excuse me? Mm-hmm. Women are more than capable of doing it. Right. It, we have to realize that we can do it. Right. And it's still, and it's still in the process. I, I follow this all the time on social media because I'm just, it's empowering. Mm-hmm. Where I've, where I've personally come from, I've never thought in a million years I'd be able to lift this much weight. Right. I never thought in a million years I'd be this toned. I'd have this much muscle. Mm-hmm. And if I had stuck to a treadmill, like we were taught for so long, I wouldn't be where I am. No, you'd be fit. Yeah, but, I would, yeah. But not. I would be where, what they call the skinny fat. Yeah. Where you have where no, you're skinny. no definition. Yeah, you're skinny. You're thin. But you can't lift anything. Yeah. 20 pounds is heavy. But yeah. you're, you're, you're skinny. Yeah. But you don't have muscle definition. Yeah, I remember that was one of your fears a long time ago. I was You made a comment. It's like, I don't want to put on a bunch of muscle and look like a man. Yeah. And that was one of your justifications for not getting into that. So you had that mindset mm-hmm. a long time ago. I did. But as you realized over the course of the last couple of years that you're not going to just bulk up, right? It takes a long time. <laughs> it does. You're it's so, not going to sneak up on you. No, you're not going to put on crazy muscle and, you know, start looking masculine mm-hmm. just because you picked up some dumbbells. Yes. But it, I, I do feel there's a huge benefit to doing both, of doing both cardio and either free weights or machines or any kind of, you know, resistance weight training. Yes. And between the two of those, whether your goal is weight loss or being stronger, that's how you're going to accomplish it. Yeah. And like I said, I know I need to bump up my cardio game. And part, you know, I, I know for me, part of the reason that my cardio effort is lacking is because it's at the end of my workout. And by that point, I'm kind of done and I'm ready to go home. And so it's like, okay, I'm just going to trudge through this cardio, you know, for five minutes just so I can, you know, for those of you listening, I'm doing air quotes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I can say I'm doing my cardio. Um, but is it effective? No. And I know that I need to push it a little more there to get the results. Um, for a while, I was really pushing cardio and getting getting my time in there and doing it effectively. And it was helping my endurance quite a bit. And, you know, it's like just just being better fit mm-hmm. helped what I was trying to do on the weights. Yeah. So I, I would say they they work in tandem together. So, and you know, and I guess if you want to go, and, you know, and I, I used to do this a long time ago when I was weight training. Um, I did have one day a week of just cardio where I'd go in and just do cardio for 30 minutes. And that, mm-hmm. was, that was one of my days a week. And right. then I had the other three days that were weight training. And that was when I was on a four-day rotation with it. Um, but, yeah, so I would say definitely you should be doing cardio. There are a lot of benefits to it, you know. 
don't listen to people that say you shouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and how much should you be doing? I mean, that depends on the condition you're in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, would, so when you're yeah. starting off, you know, you know, honesty, just go until you start feeling really tired, I guess. You know, I mean, don't overdo it, especially in the beginning. You know, and as you progress, you will notice that your your stamina and endurance is increasing, and then go a little further with it. But it's like everything, you know, everything in this world is in moderation, you know, and balance. Yes. So I, w- I would look at it that way. Um, you know, but if you want to go a couple days a week and do that, I think that's great. Um, but definitely try to incorporate um, both cardio and you know, like weight training of some kind. And I mm-hmm. think that's going to set you up for success no matter what your goals are. Yeah, I agree. So, all right. Well, I think we covered everything on this. Um, we're trying to keep these a little shorter in length overall. Um, but uh, it was a good topic. I, I, you know, like I said, now it's got me thinking. You yeah. Know, I, I'm thinking yeah. now it's like, okay, okay, more cardio, you know, because I just, I just preached it. Now I got to go do it <laughs> um, because I knew there, I know there's benefits to it. And it's like, maybe I should do cardio in the beginning of my workout instead of at the end. And I, I may get, I may get a better cardio workout that way. Possibly. Before I'm all tired and burnt out. But I mean, I do cardio at the end. I still have like a little bit of energy from taking my pre-workout stuff and caffeine. So it's like, I'll hit the, I'll hit the treadmill. I'll hit the bike. I do like two miles in seven minutes. Mm-hmm. So I just like pound it out. I get out the last little bit of energy I have. and Right. You know. Right. It's so like I enjoy it. Gabe, do you have anything to add before we close this out? I would say just uh, going back to your goals. I mean, your goals can, um, like, uh, what am I going to say here? <laughs> um, like, don't do too much cardio if you're trying to um, just gain muscle because you don't need to work on so much cardio as if you're losing weight. I would do a little bit more cardio if you're losing weight, basically. Um not like, you know, two hours or whatever or an hour. Just do a little bit, probably more intense when if you're trying to lose weight. Right. Trying to burn that fat and stuff. But also eat still, you know, eat healthy foods mm-hmm. to balance that out, your, you know, your gut and mm-hmm. just your whole body. Um, Yeah, cardio is good. You should definitely be doing it. And especially if you're not having any... Like, if you're not even going to the gym, I would still do cardio. Mm-hmm. I would still encourage it. Just go out, get for a walk. Mm-hmm. Like, especially outside. Just get the heart rate going. I would especially encourage you to do it outside and not necessarily in the gym. I mean, still do it in the gym. Get that warm up, whatever. Get out and then the workout. Do something, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but outside is really nice. So, yeah. Especially Definitely. with the summer coming up. So, All right. I agree with all that. Yep. Um We'd like to thank everyone for listening. And if you guys have any questions or comments, um, social media is the best way to do that is to reach out to us on social media. You can follow us on social media. For Mandy, it is honestfitlife underscore Mandy. And for me, it is honestfitlife underscore David on Instagram. Or you can visit our website at honestfitlife.com. Be sure to consult your doctor or healthcare provider before beginning any weight loss or fitness training program. This has been a Road One Media production. All rights are reserved.